Thank you for staying with us. The major focus for oil search this year is the PNG LNG project. Some major progress have been made in its civil and construction work, and all seems to be on track. Here is Oil Search's Managing Director, Peter Botton, with his presentation to the board and shareholders of Oil Search during the annual general meeting. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you all for uh, coming along uh, uh, this morning to uh, to our annual general meeting. It's a real pleasure to be up here and present to you once again on what is um, undoubtedly one of the most exciting years ahead uh, in our company's long and uh, and very interesting history. Up on the slide in front of you is a is a, a little uh, um, title which says "Building Our Future." What we're doing in 2012 in terms of delivering LNG in terms of building our reserves and commercialising our huge resource that we do have in Papua New Guinea is undoubtedly going to set our future uh, and a, I believe a very bright future ahead for, for the company, your company and, uh, and, uh, and all shareholders. Uh, what I'm going to do to you for you this morning is to, is to go through very quickly um, the 2011 financial results. I, I'm, Brian has already, our uh, chairman has already uh, given you some of the numbers and I won't linger very long on them. And they're also obviously very well described in our annual, annual report. I'll also give you some, an update in pictures primarily of what's happening on the PNG LNG project. Um, the various expansion opportunities that we've got before us, some really exciting programs going on. What we're doing in production and some near, near field activities and some other material exploration activities we're doing both in PNG and, and around the Middle East. I'll also inevitably touch on some of the local issues and how they're affecting our business and give you a little summary of what, uh, what, what we're looking for in 2012 and beyond. Just a, a quick overview of what, of what is going on. Clearly, um, the company has been a, a pretty good performer in, uh, in total shareholder return over the last six years. And that is a testament to the quality of, uh, of our assets here, primarily in P&G, but also to the operating environment, which we continue to manage, I think, reasonably well, and, and also the stability of policy within government, which allows us to invest with a clear mind and a clear heart that this is a pretty good place to be. That's delivered good shareholder performance, and I'll show you a graph of that in a moment. We do have very substantial growth opportunities that have been identified in our portfolio now, and we're really very optimistic that, uh, that they will deliver future value for, for all shareholders. We're undertaking the largest ever development appraisal and exploration program we've ever done, and this hopefully will deliver the growth. Obviously, a pillar to that is the PNG LNG Trains 1 and Trains 2 construction, which is now well and truly underway. As well as that, we're, we've got programs to build the resource base in the PNG Highlands. We've got a new area of exploration in the Gulf area of Papua, Papua New Guinea, which, has, uh, which will be seeing drilling, a drilling program later this year, and some material oil prospects both in the PNG and in the Middle East. Obviously, over the next 18 months, with a very active drilling program, the results will be successively delivered, and a, and a range of regular news updates on, on how the company's going. We've built... All this is built off a, a strong, steady production base, strong cash flows, and a healthy balance sheet which allows us to judiciously invest in these programs. If you look at the screen now, that, uh, on, uh, you can hopefully see uh, oil surge share price over the last five years versus the oil price, which is in blue, um, the Santos share price uh, and the Woodside share price, Santos in green, Woodside in, in orange. And in, uh, in PNG and in investing in PNG has shown material benefits, uh, and we've outperformed a number of our major peer group, at least on the AS on the Australian Stock Exchange, delivering a sh total shareholder return uh, uh, almost 300% over that period of time. That's a good good result, but uh, hopefully there's more to come. Our chairman has already outlined a very significant priority in our organisation is the safety of our people. It's just not acceptable to come to work 
and go go home injured for either of our staff, any of our staff, or our contractors. So we spend a lot of time and a lot of effort in driving uh, our safety performance, and it's particularly challenging now, with a lot of activity in the country, a lot of people uh, brought into the oil and gas space in terms of construction, uh, and many many calls on those people across the whole industry. Many people with little experience, many cultures, many different uh, types of people never been in the industry before. So delivering a, a top quartile uh, result in terms of our safety record, measured here by total in recordable injury frequency rate, um, we delivered in, in um, 2011 a TRIFR of 1.83, which is an, a, a very good performance. Not good enough because too many people still got hurt. But in the context of our peer group in Australia, you can see we had the second lo lowest TRIFR of all the Australian listed companies, uh, which when you look at the environment in P&G, our various cultures, etc., also sitting right down at the bottom in terms of hurting people, is a, is a good achievement by our staff and our contractors. Still not good enough and a real challenge with all these new people coming on the industry and certainly uh, challenging uh, in 2012 as we carry out a lot of activity, but still a, a good result against our peer group. If I move now to the financial results and very quickly give you some, uh, some numbers and some pictures about those numbers, clearly our revenue stream, which was, was up substantially on 2010, was up around 26% driven by a much higher oil price the oil price that, was, uh, uh, that we averaged in 2011 was $116 a barrel, up from around $80 a barrel the year before. And that combined with, with reasonably steady production, good tight ca cash uh, cost control, um, delivered us uh, a, a net profit after tax uh, up about 9% at, um, uh, at around uh, 202 million US dollars. Significant tax bill and various items uh, obviously uh, impacted that result. If I look at some of the, uh, uh, of how that was put together, you see on the, uh, the very left-hand side uh, a net profit after tax in 2010, which is uh, uh, the, uh, the bar in blue, and this is the bar for profit in 2011. And what we see here is, is obviously revenue was up, uh, brought about by a strong oil price, Production was slightly down. Uh, some OPEX uh, was operating costs were up slightly. Um, we had less ex expiration expense in 2011, and we had a big tax bill ending up with a 2002 uh, result, two th 202 million result for 2011. Uh, if we look at our operating costs, I think everybody understands that inflation in Papua New Guinea is pretty strong. Um, most of the things that in life are going up here uh, brought about by the booming economy, and we're no different to that. We've seen strong inflation in, in, in costs. Certain aviation costs have gone up by over 30%, for instance, in, in for on year on year. Uh, overall, though, we had a pretty strong control of our costs, and we had an operating cost per barrel of about $20 uh, a, a, barrel, uh, a barrel of oil equivalent which is not a bad result, bearing in mind our oil price is sitting up there at about 116, making it a reasonable margin of business. If we look at our liquidity, as our chairman said, we, we presently have uh, material uh, cash in, in the bank. We have a strong balance sheet augmented by good cash flows from operations. Our liquidity at the end of March was uh, somewhere around uh, 1.1 billion, which was made up of about 900 million in cash and 230 million in an undrawn corporate facility. We remain cautious though. Obviously the oil price is high at the moment, but we need to be careful and manage our, our, continue to manage our funds with substantial draws to P&G LNG uh, and our range of, uh, of our growth initiatives, which all cost substantial, substantial money. So we remain, we remain careful in how we manage these funds. That was Oil Search's Managing Director, Peter Botton. More on that presentation after this commercial break.